So here we have different type of saws. Uh, you're probably most familiar with the ones on the two sides. Right. Uh, so this is a Japanese saw, and this is your hand saw. Uh, so for most people on this planet, these two saws might be the most unfamiliar um, back in time. Uh, because both are from island cultures. So this is from an island somewhere in Europe, and this is from an island, you know, somewhere in Asia. For most of the Eurasian continent, people use frame saws. So this is a continental European frame saw. Uh, and this is a frame saw that I made, which is loosely Chinese design. Okay. Uh, you can see I mean, they're pretty much the same. Uh, you have a soft wood shaft in the middle uh, that holds the tension delivered by twisting the string over here, and you have a saw blade. And uh, you have pins that rotate the saw blade. Very similar. So this one I use. Uh, I taped it all up uh, in transport. Uh, so these things. Uh, have one thing in common, uh, is that um, they rotate. So then you'd be able to resaw, okay. like or rip, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and that is natural with these types because they don't have the frame. Right. Right. Um, so. A lot of people still use these saws, and I use the, these saws more than Japanese style or uh, your hand saw or back saw uh, because uh, the frame saw sort of combines uh, advantages from both sides. Um, if you think about it, a frame saw is uh, you can you can push it. Okay. Right. Um, but it's under tension, so it's actually pulling as well from the front. So the frame oh. is pulling the saw blade through the cut. So it's a push saw, but it's a pull saw. Okay. Does that make sense? <laughs> making sense. Yeah. Uh, of course, same goes for the continental European saw. Mm -hmm. when, it's, when it's under tension, you, when you're cutting, uh, your front frame it's pulling it through. Okay. Um, so with this design, you don't need very thick metal. Okay, right. Uh, you can make these things very, very thin, just like the Japanese saws. When you pull, you're, you don't need as thick. Right, a uh, brace or tension. Yeah, right. Uh, and pulling is very accurate, but accuracy is not uh, so important for big ones. Uh, so we have back saws over here. Uh, so back saws has to uh, have backs because you know when you're pushing, but if you want a thin saw, you kind of need the reinforcement. Right? Okay. Uh, another great uh, feature on these saws is that they can be made a little longer. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, this is for working standing up. This okay. is where actually bands all come from. So you, you can push down and go up and push down. Um, you have a great travel and it you know, saves on labor. But nowadays we have table saw, so <laughs> right. it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, well, depending on where you come from. Um, so one feature of ch Chinese style frame saw, this is not very pretty. Uh, so I have another one over here, uh, is that is always fixed or be set at an angle. Oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, if you go to a European frame saw, although it's rotating, um, mm -hmm. most of the time it's configured like this, up and down. Right. Uh, and you hold it right here. It's a very comfortable uh, place to hold. and. You kind of have contact with the pin, and you can do very accurate cuts. 
Um, but with Chinese sauce, you often hold it at an angle. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Is this a designated angle that you cut it to? Yeah, so this is 45. It's very okay, typical. Uh, so this is an experimental uh, saw blade. So this is different because uh, this is actually um, a laser hardened, uh, oh, okay. like Japanese saws, uh, and cannot really be uh, sharpened. Uh, but it cuts very well. <laughs> yeah. Um, back to the angle. So when you're cutting straight down, uh, you kind of have to hold it at 45 degrees. Right. Yeah. And uh, another feature is that your palm is butt against this pin. This pin is not protruding like this. So when you turn it, you have to do this. Uh, although this one, you don't turn. So this allows you to remove your wrist from the pushing action. Oh, OK. So the, the point that you push is here. That aligns with the saw blade align with where it pulls the saw blade through, align with where you push the saw blade, and your forearm. So the saw blade and your forearm becomes uh, uh, aligned. Right. Um, so this allows you to work in more diverse situations, on low benches, like uh, up there when you're right. trying to work on your house. Okay. <laughs> um, and it delivers the force without any uh, out of like axes translation. Mm -hmm. uh, so this one uh, is super great if you have a bench all the time and you're sitting on your bench. Okay? <laughs> yeah. uh, so this one compromised uh, by aligning things, making it a little awkward to hold, uh, but it accounts for more situation. Uh, another thing I find with this angle is that when you're out of angle, Right? When you're three degrees off like this, or you're three degrees off like this, the weight of the saw tell you you're off angle. Oh, wow. OK. Uh, and then when you know your saw, uh, you kind of know how, where the plum is uh, over time. OK. Uh, so that's an uh, added feature. I don't know if it's by design, uh, but that's that. So let's try to rip this. And yeah, and you can cut this off. Like that. <laughs> yeah, I can see how um, being able to even even like the ergonomics, you're almost able to line up the yeah. Cut that's a that's better. additional feature, right? With Japanese saw, you can look on straight on top. Uh, same with your hand saw, right? Uh, but like with a uh, saw that's set up like this, the frame is in the way of your sight. Right. Um, but when it's at an angle, uh, now you'll be able to see your saw blade again. Mm -hmm. right? you can align the entire your thing. And your body is not in the way of the cut. Yeah. Which feels, yeah. It feels like a good size, too, to be more versatile for different things, right? Um, like you're talking about being in different spaces and having to cut at different angles. Like that's a ma more manageable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, and back in the days, Woodworker would have a lot of different saws. So they may not have uh, 20 uh, chisels, but some have 20 saws. They have a lot of saws. <laughs> they have saws for green wood. They have saws for hardwood. They have saws for soft wood. They have saws big, small. Yeah. But nowadays, uh, one or two saw is, uh, is generally preferred. When you already get boards from lumberyard, you don't have to cut all that. So. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome.